Carson Edwards is looking like the steal of the NBA draft. Despite putting up great numbers in college and even high school, he's still underrated. And at one point, he almost quit basketball completely because of what a high school coach told him. So what's good y'all, it's Matt LBG and we are back on our story video man. If y'all new to my channel and like these story videos, hit that subscribe button, leave a like for more story videos man. Hey man, let's not waste no time, let's get straight into the video man. Carson Edwards is currently a rookie for the Boston Celtics and is lighting up the summer league. He's averaging 19.4 points per game and shooting at a good efficient rate of 48%. He was putting up these numbers in college even for Purdue and things looked good for him but things always didn't look that good for Carson Edwards. He played varsity basketball as a freshman on his high school team but then after his freshman year the same coach told him he was going to be on JV as a sophomore. Just think about that, that's just demoralizing. It's not like a new coach came in and didn't like him. It was the same coach and he demoted him. This same coach told him that he never ever be a high major college player. Now looking back on it today, I bet that coach is regretting saying that. But Carson Edwards didn't take light of these words. He thought the perfect response would be to quit basketball. He said he wasn't even enjoying it anyway and if anyone that's watching this video, if you played for a coach that you don't get along with or he made you mad, you just can't enjoy the game. To go along with these problems, he wasn't really getting any love from any colleges. Carson said that things weren't really looking good for me. Just from going from varsity to JV and not enjoying the game anymore and not even getting along with the coaches, I just didn't want to play anymore. To go along with that, he even states that it came to the point where all of my friends around me were getting recruited, all the schools they wanted to go to, and I wasn't. Now this is when the big factor comes into it, his mom. Mrs. Edwards saw her youngest son was hurting, but she also knew he wasn't going to get what he wanted, or at least what he thought he wanted. She wasn't going to let him quit. She knew that it's a character building experience. If she let him quit basketball here, then he would quit everything. He'd quit his job when he didn't like it, his relationship wouldn't like it. He would just quit anything when things didn't go his way. So she made him persevere. And his mom goes on to say, I think he's glad he did. I think he's okay with me for not letting him quit. I think he's okay that he hung in there. And for most of all, like all moms, she was right. Ultimately, Carson Edwards was bumped back up to varsity from JV that same year and helped his high school team deep into the state playoff. He proceeded to average 23.6 points and 4.9 assists as a junior. His senior year was even better. He averaged 26.3 points per game and 5.1 assists. He also dropped a game record of 50 points by sticking 13 of 15 threes. Oh, and let's not forget to mention that he led his team to a 38 and one season and to the state finals. Shortly after his great senior season, he got what he always wanted. He got that big time college offer that he was craving. He didn't just settle with getting an offer. He was a pivotal piece to produce Sweet 16 run a season ago. And this season you could argue that he was basically their best player and carried them to a number two seed in the tournament. He had an amazing NCAA tournament lighting it up from deep. He became an All-American in only his second year of college. And there's always been one person who has never doubted him this whole journey, even when Edwards himself may have, and that was his mom. Edwards even says, my mom continued to push me, continued to tell me she believed in me even when he was ready to quit basketball years ago. With Carson Edwards being one of the biggest sleepers in the NBA draft, I think he has a bright future ahead of him. He put up great numbers in high school and he also put up great numbers in college, so I don't really know why he's so underrated. He is a bit smaller than other point guards in the league, but look at Steph Curry and this guy can shoot almost as good. I'm not gonna compare him to Steph Curry, but he can shoot almost as good as Stephen Curry. I hope he continues to work hard and I hope he continues to listen to his mama because hey, if he didn't listen to his mama back then, he probably wouldn't be where he is now. But I mean, if he can go from not getting along to his high school coaches and even his head coach telling him that he wouldn't make it to a mid-major college, I don't think anything can stop him now. But hey man, that's about gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. It helps me grow, get out to more people. If you like videos like this, leave a like for more story videos, man. And hey man, with all this being said, I'm out y'all. Peace.